Bite size today, ladies and gentlemen, and we're bringing back a fan favorite. We did this once before. Oh, that okay. <laughs> back in April, we, yeah, back in April, yeah. We uh, we're bringing back bite. I messed up the title. Side bite, bite, bite side, side, where we a talk- production of bite size media. A, produ- a production yeah. of offsite media. I like it. It's a it's a production or it's a um it's a mini series of a mini series. Of our actual series. We're going seriesception. Anyway. It's bite, bite, bite sized. <laughs> yes. It's cool. Bo- bite. Bo- 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 bite size. Bite, bo- 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 bite. Anyway, what we're doing is we're going to watch two episodes of two uh, sh- two shows that are sequels of each other. Two shows. Uh, two shows. 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 And we're going to talk about them in different episodes. And we're going to just pretty much compare and contrast how we think they are. In and this case, first episodes. That's what we're talking about. Yes, first, episodes first episodes. In this case. And well, actually, in all these cases coming up. I, I don't know why this was the, one of the ones that we came up with, but we decided. Low-hanging we, fruit. It's, it's a low-hanging fruit. What show has multiple shows? Anyway. A show that has a reboot. A show that, that's a way better way to phrase it. And you know what show has a reboot, guys? You clicked on the title so you know it. How and I Met are. Your Mother. <laughs> Full House. Oh, that one too. Full House, guys. They made a reboot. Oh, crap. Can you remind me when this reboot came out? 2016. 2016. They made it. I watched that like, first season in my apartment. Almost 30. I watched it in school. Almost 30 years later, they tried rebooting it. But what we're going to do, we're going to watch the first. The OG. The Bob Saget. Dave, yeah, rest in peace, Bob Saget. Dave Coulier, John Stamos, I and everyone else, and everyone. <laughs> I I really forgot the rest of the cast, but those are something yes. about Olsen people. Yes, oh my God, the Olsen twins, obviously. Uh, and Candice Cameron was yeah. DJ. Um, Candice Cameron at the time, right? Isn't doesn't she have a hyphenated name? It's now? Candace Cameron Bure. Yes. Beer, beret? Beer, beret? Crap. I don't know. Who plays Jody stuff? Sweeten. Jody, yeah, okay, I was going to get Jody Sweeten. Ah, the only reason anyone watched the reboot. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Those memes were, were going around six years ago. It's like, yeah, yeah this is why I'm watching Fuller House. I'm like, man, that you know, the levels we stoop to watching Fuller House. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're about to watch Fuller House, too, to be fair. <laughs> Next week. Next week. But yes, so this week we're watching Fuller House, the very first episode, which is called Our Very First Show. <laughs> I actually don't know if I've ever seen the very first episode of Full House. I think I've seen it once, and that's when their grandma leaves, and that's when the other two guys move in. That's all I remember. They but have then a in grandma? episode five, yeah, because in episode five, the return of grandma, grandma returns. <laughs> wait, and grandma returns at the return of grandma? Wait, wait, wait. Like a Jedi? <laughs> yes. Grandma's coming back like the Jedi, baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, so, have you seen this, Jake? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, are you excited to rewatch it? Oh, I am sure not. <laughs> Were you ever a big Full House fan as a kid? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, in he's my, older than the in show. My, in my That's old true. age, I know better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I watched this a lot, and Nick at Night, Nick at Night. That's when I watched it, I loved it. I watched it while it aired live. That's that's crazy. You watch this. I live. guess not live, but so did you weekly. really actually keep up with it like week to week when it was first coming out? It was my sister's like favorite show when we were growing up. That's awesome. Awesome Who is your, not the word. <laughs> Who is your favorite character? Oh yeah. Uh, or should we wait till after we watch? That's we actually let's wait till after yeah, we watch. Yeah, we uh, Okay, so really, anything you want to say before we watch it? Anything you want to get out really quick? I'm ready to watch this. Let's show. get full. Let's. Eat up our plates in front of us because we're going to be full to the brim with this house. Uh, Shark Tale? Shark Tale. <laughs> that was bad, I know. Okay. So, let's watch this, guys. So, without any further ado. Take a bite. <laughs> and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We watched 
the first episode of Full House. It's good. It's good. 85, 90% of it was very cringeworthy, but 10% made my heart feel things. Legit, I will say. There like, was a piece of it that made me want to be a dad, I'll admit. Yeah, like the very the very end of it. Like when he was like having a chat with his kids and like. It yeah, just, like the perfect part that everybody thinks parenting is actually going to be. And uh-huh. then it ends up being that way, I promise. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's going to be that part, but it ends up being the part where Danny walks in and the house is a wreck. Yes. Which, yeah. Yeah. Your baby's that's, a pig. <laughs> your baby's a pig. Or when the baby's in a roasting pot <laughs> yeah when in doubt just put him in a roasting pot obviously or uh, uh, jared what, I, we, what was your favorite line of the whole episode <laughs> michelle's crying danny's at work and joey and jesse have to deal with it and joey's trying to do his bad voices <laughs> <laughs> jesse walks out. hey shut up <laughs> <laughs> like hey shut up it, there's not even a pause it's, hey shut up <laughs> Like a reasonable way to get a baby yeah. to be quiet. Like, he cursed in the episode. Did he say damn or something? No, he, he said hell. Yeah. He did say oh. But I was like, I was like, I don't remember that in Full House. <laughs> <laughs> Covered her ears. I know. I was just like, where the hell did she go? <laughs> oh yeah, but no, it, it's good. I the a lot of Joey's stuff did not age <laughs> all that well. You know, he's and, also Dave Cooley is funny. He is. I, I, I saw him, his stand up. Oh, really? He's really funny. That's cool. Yep. I mean, he's the whole reason the song You Ought to Know exists. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> I yep. think, we think. I, yeah, that's a. But he, that was rough. It's it's called, <laughs> it is. This, is, this is, this is the first episode where not our character, except John Stamos is nailing his character. He is. Stamos is. How is it possible <laughs> that that man has gotten sexier? He, I swear, it was so. It's the yogurt. It's the yogurt. Yeah, he is Greek, uh, and he he really like stay <laughs> and, and Okay, and we we have to mention it. I, I know this is it's the running joke of the whole show is his hair, but holy hot damn, that man's hair is flowing in this I episode. Mean, he just made a mullet look good. He did. Uh, you know, you have you have you have your juxtapositions here. Uh. Joey, whose mullet looks like crap, and then you <laughs> yeah. know Jesse, who just looks his, like it's Bobby just o. he's over here just hair flowing, and I'm like, dang, Uncle Jesse, dang Uncle Jesse. <laughs> there, there, there are some good moments. There, yeah. the thing that it didn't sound like canned laughter in the terms of like fake laughter. It, it, it sounded like a live audience. Oh, it was, and they were 100%. eating it up. Yeah, like there's a difference between when they're told to laugh and they're having a good time yes and it's oh, like I wow did. for a first episode they're they're nailing it they're 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 speaking to their demographic perfect they really yeah you were saying i mean overall it's a good show the sentimentality of it i think overpowers the comedy and i think it gets i think it gets funnier as they introduce more characters like kimmy's generally pretty funny um Becky is one of the better characters on the show. Uh, Becky like, is a really like, good character. And, and by the time they get to that point, the characters have grown together yep. and they get used to they grow into their characters. At just about any sitcom and like they mm-hmm. grow into their characters. Like, like we always say with child actors, they're child actors. Yeah. So gonna- like by the time, you know, by the time Becky comes around, not Michelle, but like DJ and Stephanie are older and able to be funnier. I and, will and more relatable. I will say I did think some of Stephanie's lines, Jody Sweet, it, they were they they got me. A couple of her lines did get me. They were pretty funny. And it is it is <laughs> nobody asked me. Nobody asked. I know. <laughs> nobody asked me. Yeah, um, she she was cute. And it is fun to see some of the running gags throughout the show start like the ballerina thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and the have, have mercy. mercy. Yeah, yeah, this the have mercy and. Uh, Oh, what did, how did it go? And even just the one where she, the one where Stephanie was like, "I yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he or yes, he does." Like mm-hmm. that's throughout the entire thing. Well, I was also like, even say, as she's an adult. Well, I was going to say, and also, you, uh, obviously, you could see very from this episode the connection between Jesse and Michelle. 
Like when he was obviously playing Not with Michelle, her. Stephanie. No, no, Michelle. he's talking when he's playing oh, with when he's playing uh, with the baby. About to interject, and then he said when he's playing with her. Yeah, in the crib. In the crib, okay. which I, I, I like. I'm just like, yeah, because obviously further, further down the road, they they do have they share a little special bond. So yeah, never forget the first joke of the whole show is I the baby sleeping like a baby. I the grandma was in this. I forgot. I didn't know the is the grandma in this often. Or I don't she remember just often. I remember the grandma return up. So it was a classic. I'm back to make sure things are running right. Oh, Joey and Jesse can't do this. And then they prove themselves. And she goes, wow, I guess you could do it. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably for everybody that actually legitimately wanted grandma to be in the show. They're like, wait, we liked her. And the Raiders are like, no, we're, she's done. She She's done. Well, that's not what they wanted the show to be. Exactly. But it, but it is funny because this, this uh, the Tanner house illustrates how, uh, um, how do I put this? Sitcom houses of the 80s and probably of the 70s, too, were like Rubik's Cubes. Yeah. It is. You because never figured them out. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. you'd rip them apart to put them back in the right way. You just take the stickers just off. Say, I was going to say, just take the stickers off. Yeah. No, uh, they're always adding on rooms to the house and rooms are in different places. And the garage, I think, eventually becomes just a basement. No, it becomes Joey's room. Yeah, it becomes mm-hmm. Joey's room and then the recording studio. But I think they and, start oh, referring to right, it as the, record- the basement. And the attic. Mm-hmm. Remember, they have an attic that becomes Jesse and That's Becky's Jesse's room. And Becky, yep. Yep. Yeah, they do just keep adding on. They really the do. Staircases yeah. never made sense because the one in the living room goes up like that. But then the one down here goes that way, does it like hook around? I think probably. I'm guessing. But then it's the, the, a weird the second house. story is mm-hmm. apparently above the kitchen. It's above the so kitchen. there's a third stairway. Logistically, there would have to be a third stairway off of the living room. So it would have to go down and then that balcony and then down and curl around okay. again for that to go back up and just hook around in a U. Hmm. But the other thing is the hallway shots, the rooms on both sides. Yes. But that hallway is right there yeah, in the living a, room. That's a giant yeah, but it, house. But the mm-hmm. window's right there where Joey was staying. You know what I'm alcove. saying is you don't know that the you don't know that it's right there in the living room because what I'm saying is that balcony goes up and back further. Like it all goes back to the back corner of the house, and that's where the hallway is above the kitchen. Yeah, but that would go away from the house where the window is right there in the alcove. So that'd be the side of the house. Yeah, there's four sides of a house. It could just be a different. (laughs) We don't have enough time to discuss. (laughs) But okay, I I I will say, can we bring back the uh, the 90 second intros with the? Oh my god, no, (laughs) no! It gets you in the mood to watch the show. That is so long. It's not that long for the subsequent episodes it doesn't it's not it's got to be the it's got to be 40 to 50 seconds the ones for the oh, they, they, they actually maybe a minute for, but the, the, this is the first episode they're gonna play more of that song i didn't even know the word you're over there singing dude, it's a great word. song whatever happened to predictability the milkman the paper boy evening tv like after I, you dickie does not sing it's a classic it's a classic Okay, so really quick, before we peace out, I want to get your predictions on how you think this will stack up against Fuller House. Well, and favorite characters. We forgot to Oh, and favorite characters. Okay, let's do favorite characters first. <laughs> just just from the whole show's run that you remember. From the whole Jake show? Has, Jake has from to From the whole start. show's run? Yeah, Jake, who's oh, your well, favorite? Even if they're I mean, not in this episode. In the, in the later episodes, they started to develop a crush on uh, the, the DJ, and then sure. what, whatever her name is. The, the antithesis of DJ that DJ always gets in trouble with. I know who you're talking about, and I don't Gina. remember the name. Oh, I, is that who you want? I, yeah, it's not like that. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, Becky. Fair enough. Of the dudes, I think probably Danny would be my favorite because I always, he makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Bob Saget did like a he's really like good. actually he had the, my dad. Yeah. The, the, the schmaltzy, cheesy stuff in this. Was pretty ugh until that moment when he's looking at her saying, I miss her too. I was like, okay, that's actually working. That, yeah. When, he's actually pulling that off. When really he, well. when he turned it on at that moment, it just, I was like, my, my heart, my heart's feeling it. I, <laughs> who's, it's I, either going to be, you're going to move back into this house or we're moving down in the garage. Yeah. 
He he really he came off. He, he was just a good dad. Like he really. I mean, I, I do miss Bob Saget. He was. He was good. Yeah, this is where I go cliche, and John Stamos just he's he's so good in his character. He is. That's why. It, but but the, the 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 backup would be oh, Kimmy's boyfriend. I take. What it does back. he say? Oh, I know who you're. What does he say all the time? Is he the whatever guy? Yeah. This just, might oh, be. What was his name? Whatever. It, could she, I don't remember whatever. what his name was. That, isn't that what he said? All, like when she has I to break back, up Steven. with him, and he goes. <laughs> Whatever. Steve is hands down my favorite character. Steve Harrington is so. Oh, not that. It's not Steve Harrington. That's Stranger Things. It's Steve. <laughs> Steve something. He's watching too many shows. I told you. He can't you. get them straight. I just there, stick to movies. There's too many Steves. But I, but Stranger Things is great. I honestly think it's, it's just season Steve, four. man. Okay, it might just be Steve, but still. Hail. Steve, what? Hail. I knew there was an H. Thank you. I was close. Not really. But okay. Mm-hmm. Now I gotta say mine really quick before I head out. Dwayne, there's the other one. Dwayne Moffat, <laughs> whatever. So he's got that backwards hat on. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Sco- yeah, Scooter. I just said his name. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Dwayne. Dwayne. Scooter. That's from How I Met Your Mother, Mister Mixing Up Shows, or The Muppet Show. <laughs> anyway, I feel like there was like a one word name she had for him. Dwayne. No, I. It was. Like <laughs> I don't. I know what you're talking about. Anyway, my favorite character, it's probably, it's John Stamos too. It's Uncle uh, Jesse. I, have it, mercy. Part, have mercy. Part of him, like, playing the guitar is what really just made me want to play the guitar when I was a kid. It, the it, way he threw it? Oh, yeah, what the heck? He just threw it. He just, that he was not cool. That, I was just saying to Jake, like, Jake, the head is touching the floor. The head, and they just, like, <laughs> I was like, jeez. No! But, yeah. Anyway. So do you have any quick predictions for the next episode? Well, I remember the other episode and I don't like it. <laughs> but we'll see how six years have changed after I've seen it three times. Yeah. It's not going to get any better. My, my prediction is that it's, it's not going to be good. any better. <laughs> okay. So on that note, that's wrapping it up here. Jared, all the people that have watched through this, hopefully they've watched through this. They like our stuff. At least I hope they liked our stuff. Where? Oh boy. Where can they find us on the oh internet no. if they want to watch more of our funny clips you and stuff? You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also listen to us on uh, Google Podcasts, Evil Over at Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify. You can watch us on YouTube Like and subscribe and hit the bell. Please comment do. if you want. I, if, I, I I always read the comments. Oh, yeah. We when always we read them. them. You can tell us whatever you want because yeah, we will but, read them. But, uh, you know, uh, in this show, Joey is supposed to be a stand-up comedian. God, help me. But unlike Joey, our TikTok is funny. <laughs> I'm kidding. Joey's a fun character, but that was a rough start. Yeah, but our TikTok is. didn't have a rough start. <laughs> our TikTok just came out the gate. It just yeah, came out pretty blasted. Funny. Pretty funny. All right. So thank you for watching. And yes, please watch our funny TikTok. Um, <laughs> so stay tuned next week because that's when we're talking about Fuller House. And we're going to compare Pretty and wee. contrast <laughs> about how these shows stack up with each other. So from all of us here at All Slay Media, thank you so much for listening and watching. Stay tuned for next week. And until then, ladies and gentlemen, please take a bite. Oh. Bite me off a piece of that. Bite.